kind of feel like a snow day for you? Then? Yeah, I just got the news about uh, 10.30 this morning. So obviously practice changed a little bit with how we handled it, uh, knowing this would be their uh, last skate for the break. So yeah, uh, a little surprised, but not really surprised. I mean, it is what it, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it, obviously. I mean, just go yeah, with the flow. Or go with the flow. I used to kind of you kind of have experience with fluid situations from what we experienced with the pandemic so it really wasn't a big deal is there is there a negative or i mean you guys are, even in the back end of it, no, it doesn't affect your yeah schedule maybe i mean you come off two pretty good games three out of the last four points versus two really good teams obviously it feels like there's a little momentum maybe you want to get right back and and play but you know at the same time you know, we still we have four to five guys unavailable to us that may be available when we play them again. So it's just, it is what it is. You kind of just take it all in stride. I would, wouldn't look at it on either end. Larkin and Sherratt both maintenance today? Maintenance days, yep, both guys, yep. Nice little scene when Rana scored in the, yep. in the late. Uh, can you tell how much it means for him to be back, for the teammates to have him back? And yeah. The prospect of him getting in the li lineup. Well, he obviously you want to integrate them in, and that's true uh, part of the process right there. Uh, part of practice, we finish up with a game like three on three, uh, and he gets the game winner. So he was pretty excited. So it was, yeah, it was good and probably pretty uh, exciting for him. Any more uh, thoughts on when uh, do you have kind of a target? No, I mean this is this was we were able to. It was truly a day by day, um, and now this was a true breather, knowing. We're, you know, we don't come back to the we're after Christmas. We'll, we'll reevaluate that over the break. Does that help them or hurt them by not it's doing like, anything? These four yeah, I don't days? know. I, that's yeah. Uh, I mean, you've seen him. He's, he's in pretty good shape. He's probably ahead of where I would expect him to be on the ice. So obviously, he's been doing something to take care of himself. So yeah, it's hard to say. Overall, are you fairly satisfied or pleased with where you guys are at as far as the growth you've shown like you've talked a lot about performance over results. yeah it's 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 good i mean there's ups and downs in it as you see it's just you know we went through a stretch we we're probably undermanned maybe we weren't you know technically feeling a roster good enough to win you know there's times where we had holes in our game that were self-inflicted uh, there's times where we put complete games and you get excited about some things so yeah, I still think it's early, uh, and there's still just that roller coaster of ups and downs in our play, which is understandable on a team trying to grow and uh, find its way. One thing I will say about this group, and I think you guys have been around to, to notice it, they've worked and they've had goodwill. Um, they haven't stepped off at all. Uh, you know, sometimes you know, may look at it with our play, but for the most part. I mean, that's the most enthusiastic, high morale, 0-4-2 stretch team I've ever experienced. And I think that's a credit to the guys. And, you know, they got what they deserved in three or four points versus Washington Tampa. How beneficial is this break for guys like Larkin with a hand and, and Vila Puso just to get it? Yeah, any, an extra day. You know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it, that, that is a lot. An extra day for all guys to heal um, and so you know maybe that's the one part might be a benefit of the cancellation do you have a feel like is that something that he's probably just going to feel for a long stretch here or is it something that you i hope not it's been a positive i mean um you know that we, literally when it happened the doctor's like uh he may play next game or be out eight weeks so it was a little bit unknown on it and obviously the good end of it so i think it's part of managing it and um, the fact that he's played and played at a pretty good level, I think, is a positive going forward. He might have to manage it, but you know, I think like anything else, it's going to heal over time. Do you have any holiday plans? No, I'm going to go to Cleveland. My family's flying in today. Uh, my wife's entire family's from Cleveland, so that's another nice thing about the Midwest. Are you getting a little nervous just by the whole travel situation, how everything was going to no, work out? No, it's just a little bit. It's just it's like anything else. Like you just the. Sometimes I guess you probably think worst case scenario and like, you know, all you have to do is Google Ottawa weather and what they're bracing for. On Friday. They're shutting down on Friday. Uh, winds, freezing rain. You know, I grew up 
an hour, 45 minutes south of Ottawa, and I've experienced some freezing rain. That's You almost have to see it to experience it. So uh, certainly the safe and right thing to do. After some time in Tampa, do you feel like you forgot what winters can be like 100%. up here? 100%. <laughs> I mean, it's like even a uh, couple weeks ago, being back in Tampa, uh, there's been some... I've swore coming out of my apartment a couple mornings here so far, but you get used to it. No, you Just don't. We still swear. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you don't get used to it. You get more, uh, you can tolerate it more, maybe. Right. Have a good holiday. Thank you.